Good evening, this is Left, Right and Centre. The big story today as the Congress and BJP face off, the Defence Minister boldly declares that the Rafal deal will bring back Prime Minister Modi as Prime Minister. Ms. Sitaraman spoke for more than two hours in the Lok Sabha today, replying to the Rafal debate, detailing the Centre's response on the pricing and the process of acquiring the 36 jets from France. But the exchange with Rahul Gandhi often turned bitter as Nirmala Sitaraman raked up Bofors and Augusta Westland. Rahul Gandhi, however, stuck to his charge that Anil Ambani had stolen 30,000 crores and that it was the Prime Minister who had helped him. The question we're asking tonight, is corruption going to be a central theme in the 2019 general election campaign? Who was it? Who was it who did not settle with you that you couldn't conclude this deal? You couldn't conclude this deal. National interest was thrown away. National security was not yes. cared for. For every AA, I'm sorry, madam, I forgot. For every AA, there's just not an RV, there's a Q also. Ah. RV is not Damad of Prime Minister, it is the Damad of the country. You're worried about HAL? Huh? You're shedding crocodile tears? My question is today, you are now severely under the heat because. Christian Michael has come into India. He is going to speak a lot on Augusta Westland. Yes. What was Augusta Westland giving you? Helicopters, no? Helicopters, right? Why couldn't you give that helicopter order to HAL? Why did you go to Augusta Westland? Bofors brought them down. They lost an election. Rafael will bring us back. Rafael will bring Modi back. I said in the context of the conversation that is taking place in our country, and the context is that 30,000 crores have been stolen by Mr. Anil Ambani. Mr. Holland's statement is an accusation against our Prime Minister for facilitating that robbery. Madam, I am not accusing you. And I am not accusing Mr. Parikar. I am accusing Mr. Narendra Modi. Anil Ambani ji ne likha ki largest offset, ki offset partner with Dassault worth 30,000, largest offset contract in India. Life cycle opportunity estimated at 1 lakh crore rupees we have been given. And the defense minister did not mention his name? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anil Ambani ko lane ka nirne kisne kiya? Yeah. Holand ji ne kaha ki Pradhan Mantri ne kiya. When this bypass surgery was done by the prime minister, did the highest officials of the defense ministry object to this bypass surgery? Well, the question is a really big political one, whether this whole issue of corruption, whether it's Rafal on one side, um, Augusta Westland and even Bofors, are these all going to be the central themes of the campaign in the general election just months from now? Joining us tonight here in the studio, MK Venu, the founding editor of The Wire. We have Shivam Vij, contributing editor of The Print. Ajay Alok of the JDU joining us from Patna tonight. And uh, Sushmita Dev, Lok Sabha MP and spokesperson of the Congress Party. Uh, let me just take that question uh, to you, Sushmita Dev, first. Uh, Rahul Gandhi clearly s seemed to say, suggest that he was not satisfied uh, with Nirmala Sita Raman's reply in Parliament today. She spoke for more than two hours, however, and gave a fairly detailed response on the government's behalf. Even then, you're not convinced uh, that, that you got the answers you were looking for? See, Nirmala Sita Raman ji was just venting. She was letting off steam. Uh, she sounded completely frustrated. Uh, I don't know why, because in the past I have known her to be a very calm and a very good former spokesperson of the uh, BJP party. She has clearly made a huge deflection from that. But having said that, one of the main accusations which has been repeatedly brought by Congress president and which has led to Anil Ambani actually issuing all of us with legal notices and even filing defamation cases is the fact that this government and the Prime Minister himself favoured a 12-day-old company and not only favoured it but actually granted it a, a licence to manufacture defence equipment within those 12 days before he went to France and then gave him one of the largest defense offset contracts. And the defense minister didn't say a single word about well, she's, it. She I said that the government that had silence, no role to play it. On her part she she said the government did not choose the offset partner, that it was Dassault that did that. So you're not buying that. 
Well, well, my answer to that is my answer to that that is that Congress president said that when he met Holland and there's a statement to say that it is Prime Minister Modi who said that the contract should be given to Anil Ambani. See, Nidhi, the point is this: there are allegations, counter allegations. There are facts and from coming from both sides, and there are assertions coming from both sides. This was a fit case for JPC, but since this government would not relent. We had to agree to a debate. What guarantee is there that everything Nirmala Sitaraman ji is saying is the gospel truth? Okay, let me take. And uh, my let, adversaries let, may say, what what guarantee is there? What Rahul Gandhi ji is saying the truth? That's why we wanted a JPC. Okay, so Shivam Shivam, which uh, the question though is, and I come back to the political point that when Nirmala Sitaraman stands up in Parliament and says that Rafal is going to bring Modi back. That's a very bold statement to make in an election year. How do you think that's going to go down? Well, I think what the defense minister is trying to do is to make sure the government does not appear on the back foot, but on the front foot. The government says we have nothing to hide about Rafal. We've already got a clean sheet from the Supreme Court. But I think there's a deeper meaning there, which is that public opinion doesn't really care about Rafal. Rafal is not the mood at the moment. Neither is corruption as a whole. Um, I think, you know, this last month, Congress got three chief ministers. I went to two of those states. I did not meet a single voter saying, I'm voting against BJP because the Modi government is corrupt or because there was corruption of the Rafal deal. I didn't hear Rafal from the people at all. Uh, the mood of the nation is neither Ram nor Rafal. It is rural distress. It is the economy. It's the economy is stupid as the saying goes. But the Congress party is a habit of missing the woods for the trees, you know, this whole boring stuff about going on and on, offset, does all, ye, wo, at outside Latias Delhi, nobody cares. Like the Congress party is is unable to understand what the public mood is and respond to it, take up issues that the people will actually respond to. The BJP, the government is very happy to debate Rafael in the government, in the parliament right now. They were, they were, they accepted this sort of debate. And I think that's what Nirmala Sita Raman means, because if they were not discussing Rafal, they would have been discussing farmers, they would have been discussing the rural economy, which is what would have hurt the government far more than the Rafal issue. Quick, quick response, Sushmita, to Shivam's critique there, that this is not an issue that's resonating with voters. See, uh, I don't want to dismiss what Shivam is saying, but the fact this corruption was a very big issue that Narendra Modi ji raised in the 2014 election. The question is, the political message in this is that Narendra Modi ji is not above corruption and is directly complicit. He's directly complicit in the Rafael scam. See, Nidhi, from the political perspective, let me let me tell you that there was a time, there was a time when Modi ji's USP and TRP and integrity was beyond questioning. He was like the Masiha of honesty. <clears throat> Today, the parliament is debating his corruption. Today, people may not understand the nuances of Rafael. I'm willing to accede to that, to give respect to what he's saying. But the fact is, people are reading about Rafael. People are understanding that this prime minister, this prime minister's narrative on corruption is basically bunkum. All right. Well, that's, that's, that's the way you're seeing it. Ajay Alok, as an ally of the BJP, how do you see this issue of corruption playing out in the campaign? Do you think... Uh, as Shivam believes that it's not an issue uh, with voters, that they care more about, say, you know, agra the agrarian crisis, the lack of jobs uh, elsewhere, or, or do you think that this is an issue that, that will play a role, whether it's Augusta Westland on one side, Rafal on the other? How do you see this playing out? Well, as far as Rafal goes, Nidhi, let me tell you very clearly, Congress is making a mockery of himself. It's just a clear a case that an obstinate child wants that he should get the moon and the whole party, the whole machinery of the party and the set of intellectuals, they are just behind that this child should get the moon. This is the fact. When Defense Minister point by point explained everything, then Rahul Gandhi is asking question, you, the, the Defense Minister didn't mention how the prices have gone up when she is clearly saying that this is in, in the national interest, in national security, we cannot tell you the price, how it has gone up because then all the weaponry will have to be disclosed and that cannot be done. But he's failing, he's refusing to accept it. See, defense minister can go wrong, analyst can go wrong, Supreme Court can go wrong, but only Mr. Rahul Gandhi is right. So the people of this country is now, they are very much mature enough and capable enough to understand that this is just 
sheer stupidity that you want to prove that Mr. Narendra Modi is corrupt just because the whole Congress party carries the tag of corruption right from 2G, 3G, 4G. Either if you talk of air or you talk of beyond the earth, they have, they have a hand of corruption in each and everything. So just by mere accusing a person, the corruption does not come into play for that person. But yes, corruption does come into play when it comes to Congress party. And why not? Why not NDA will use that Augusta Westland? Why not Christian Michel will be used? It will be used. Why not Mr. Robert Wadra will be used? It will be used. So be prepared for that. And if you want to make a ground, just by just my mere accusing Rafael, 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 you're going to make some ground of yourself. Go and try it. But you are make, actually making a mockery of yourself. Okay. Well, pretty strong words from the BJP's ally there. Uh, Venu, uh, you know, is it just sheer cussedness and stupidity on the part of the Congress to be hammering home on this issue, particularly after the Supreme Court ruled on this, as Ajay Alok seems to suggest? Or, uh, you know, is, you think, Rahul Gandhi hoping to keep the pot stirring politically uh, as the election is coming up and to still raise doubts, despite what the Supreme Court has said, even though the court didn't give a clean chit, but it did blow a lot of holes in the Congress's theories. So, Nidhi, uh, here is what I, <coughs> I think. Uh, the Rafale issue, uh, doubts have been sown. Now, having said that, uh, it is also true, as Shivam was saying, the Rafale issue is yet to go beyond, uh, say, tier one cities. It has not gone down to the rural uh, uh, belt. But the Congress party now, uh, I mean, the, the arrow is, uh, they've, they've, uh, the bullet is, uh, has been so fired, so they, they will have no option but to take it to the masses. Uh, having said that, Nidhi, I, I, I have another point to make. The, the larger corruption, uh, the issue of corruption governance, corruption in governance, this was also Modi's big promise in 2014 when he said there will be a Lokpal, he said there will be a fast track courts uh, to, to try uh, legislators. None of this has happened and today the Supreme Court has, has given the government uh, a, a bit of a snub when it said that it won't accept uh, a, a written note uh, uh, on, on the progress made on Lokpal, they want an affidavit. Uh, too much is happening through, you know, uh, through sealed envelopes and notes. Etc. So, so Modi will have to answer a lot of questions uh, on the the issue of corruption, which he said we will remove. He promised that he'll take action against uh, uh, irrigation scam in Maharashtra. When he came to power, he said against Vadra. None of it has happened. And what has happened, which the opposition will definitely uh, take up and are campaigning on, is what Chandra Babu Naidu said yesterday that this government is merely using corruption, ED, etc., to threaten the opposition and, and, and beat them into submission. And these are issues which I think people are understanding today. I, I have no doubt in my mind about it. Uh, we have Mr. Deshratan Nigam on the line with us as well. And, and uh, Mr. Nigam, you know, just, just to take off from what MK Venu said, that if corruption has been such a central theme of, say, the BJP's campaign when it came to power in 2014, which it was, you had so many uh, scams in, in the previous government, uh, you know, with the, for instance, on Robert Vadra and his and, and RV, as his initials were, you know, taken up in Parliament today by the Defence Minister. You know, he's not been arrested for anything. He's not been charged with anything. And you know, almost five years have passed since the government came to power. So, is there some truth that these agencies are perhaps being used more to intimidate the opposition than to actually find out what's happening in these cases? Let me take that question to Ajay Alok. Ajay? Yeah, Nidhi, that's what I wanted to respond. That how do you say the action has not been taken? Today, the Congress President and Mrs. Sonia Gandhi both are on bail in uh, this National Herald case. The former Prime Minister, uh, the former Finance Minister and his son, Karthi Chidambaram and P. Chidambaram, they are also on a bail in a corruption case. The ex Chief Minister of Maharashtra is facing a case and he's also on a bail. So they are all facing legal hurdles. Like what Prime Minister said in his interview very clearly. Kya is desh jinho ne char pidi tak is desh pe raj kiya, aaj wo bail pe hain. Kya ye kabhi sambhav tha? So all these things will come into picture and why corruption won't be a picture? Nidhi, now, Congress is sitting in the lap of Lalu Prashad Yadav and we are in Bihar. Do you think we are not going to raise it? That how come this is possible that it was same Mr. Rahul Gandhi Lalu Prasad who tore apart that uh, ordinance. You, you were in partnership with Lalu Minister, Yadav till recently yourself. It's not that the cases against Lalu Yadav just sprung up we in the last six months. We were in partnership with RJD, but when they came to corruption, we left them. Nidhi, can I make a point here? Fight, no, you didn't know that Lalu Yadav had cases and was convicted when you got into partnership with him. 
I mean, you knew that these cases didn't happen overnight. You also, you were, you Lalu were in Yadav government. Lalu Yadav was not a part of the government. His son was part of the government. He sure. was deputy chief minister. When so, the charges were leveled against him, we asked him very clearly to please go and explain it in the public domain, which he failed to do. MK Venu has a rebuttal. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and when we raised this matter in front of Mr. Rahul Gandhi, I, Nidhi, he I, just I, refused to listen. Nidhi, I, I'll give you three examples. Narayan Rane, Mukul Roy, Sukram, uh, his family, and the gentleman, uh, uh, a Congress leader in I Karnataka, I'm forgetting his that. name, all against whom there were cases, all that this, the CBI uh, and uh, Re the Reddy brothers, CBI very conveniently uh, diluted the cases. Uh, all those leaders, opposition guys who joined the, who come with the BJP, cases are dropped against them. There is no credibility of the investigation and prosecution system in this country today. The biggest example of that, Nidhi, is the 2G scam on which these people wrote to power. The judge, the 2G judge said the prosecution in the last three years, there was, it was directionless, it was not interested, it was giving unsigned notes. As a result, the whole case fell. After which, what happens? The BJP leaders attacked the judge, S, the SP Saini, you know, who, who's had a, a good record in the past. Now, I don't know how the BJP would explain this. You know. Well, look, Mr. Uh, Mr. Nigam, if you can hear us now on, on this question then of corruption, is it, is it a bit of a mixed track record then of the Modi government? Not quite getting the big fish, but only making threats? No, 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 I don't think so. And uh, I think the process does take time. Uh, we, you know, in India, we have a bureaucratic system. And to collect evidences, especially of the people of the previous government, where, uh, you know, it, it becomes difficult. But the fact of the matter remains that, you know, corruption will be an issue in 2019. And so far as Rafael is concerned, and its resonance and traction with the people. The only thing that people understand about Rafael that it's a lethal aircraft. That's what I understood from the entire debate in the parliament today. And uh, so far as Westland is concerned, the process is going on, you know. And uh, the National Herald also, the process is going on. There is nothing about uh, Rafael in the court or any prosecution agency or anywhere. And uh, therefore, people do know, people do understand that the criminal process and the prosecution is on in Augusta Westland. Things are coming out there, and therefore this will resonate. And Rafael, it has not gone, it's not even in tier one cities also. Uh, as in Delhi, when I talk to people around, and they say, yes, we, we've heard about it, but there's nothing on record, no evidence. It's, it's all, you know, empty vessels making a lot of sounds. So, so people so understand and, Rafal, but, uh, d uh, d uh, I mean, they, they don't understand, they don't see Rafal as second, corruption, maybe. but they see Augusta Westland as corruption. Yes, yes, because because it's, the process is already on there. If the Congress had a single iota of evidence, why don't they go and file a case? A private complaint the way Subramanian Swami has done. I have challenged them, do it. Give it to me, any evidence. I'll file a case. But none of the spokesperson have come forward. So, Shmita, so do you trying, want to take that they, on? They are, try, they are trying the Congress, to create a perception battle. Should the Congress go and file a complaint officially? You know, see, the first the first thing I want to address is this Mr. Nigam. I don't know where he's hanging around, hanging out in Delhi, where he says nobody knows about Rafael. Today, Prime Minister Modi was in my constituency in Assam, southernmost tip of Assam, Silchar, pretty remote from the rest of India. He thought it was important for him to talk about, uh, talk about Rafael. Wherever Prime Minister Modi is campaigning, he is defending himself on Rafael. So the pertinent question is, if Rafael is not an issue in remote area, why does the Prime Minister of India feel the pressure to defend himself in remote areas, number one? Number two, when it comes to filing a private campaign, what has consistently emerged with this government in power is, whether it is Sahara Diaries, whether it is the Rafael scam, that this government doesn't allow investigation, doesn't allow any agency to investigate anything that is remotely connected to the culpability of the BJP. In Sahara, the court said this is not enough to proceed, it must be investigated, they didn't. Even when it came to Rafael, the Supreme Court has not given BJP a clean sheet. It says we cannot look into pricing, etc. under judicial review. It is not our jurisdiction. Nowhere See, has the Supreme Court said the JPC can't be held. Today the parliament... Let me finish. I didn't, inter I didn't, inter I didn't very, interrupt very, no. when you were talking. Bad. 
I, can the, the Supreme, does the Supreme Court bar the Parliament I, of India from holding a JPC? No. Modi will not do it because Modi is damn scared that his that his culpability but will be out and he'll be stuck naked in the in the in front of the people of India. That's why he avoids the JPC. May, may I answer now? Yes. You know, JPC is never constituting uh, mm. constituted for fishing and roving inquiries. You've got to show some illegality, some documents. Oh, some really? Evidence you didn't involved. remember that during two G. And 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 therefore, no. There, there were enough evidence. CAG report was there. Here, there is nothing. Please make a distinction. As an intelligent person, there is so nothing. So the president here on of the France, court, nothing, president of France, of naming the prime minister of India is not enough evidence. There, there, and, and, and why can't you file a private complaint? It will be a court-monitored investigation. Court will ask for everything. If you have a single evidence, I am challenging you. Please well, do it. Well, there is a review that has been filed in the Supreme Court. Let's wait and see. Well, uh, you know, so, I mean, the so, government so can't even you, get you, the past no, tense and present tense right in Supreme Court. The uh, Supreme Court does not have the power. So what will the review do? There is nothing. You said it is beyond that. And there. the government on of India hand, lied to one, the Supreme Court. On, Let's not forget on, that. On one hand, you are saying Supreme Court doesn't have the power under Article 32. And then you're saying something will come out of the review. What kind of a contradiction is this? The point also though is Shivam Vich. Why don't you answer the contradiction of Sitaramanji, who first says the price of Rafael is a secret. And then Arun Jaitley ji or the floor of the Lok Sabha, I don't know whether you watch Lok Sabha, basic comes out with the price. The Look at the basic, contradictions of the defense minister of India who says, basic I know nothing. Is not she is on record. Is I never, challenge you. She is on record. I challenge you. Yeah, well, you've got your facts aircraft wrong aircraft and you're totally you know, on this, One second, on this narrative of corruption, totally Shivam, but you say, I was in parliament, you were not. She, she did no, say it on I record, she did say it on record, I but... all the, all the debate, I, so don't say just because you were in parliament, you know Not once. We, she said it five times. It television. She said it five times. Shivam, when I you say that the there is no sort of... Secret. Okay, okay, Sushmita, one second. I, I, Shivam, if you say, as uh, you know, that there is no resonance uh, of, of, say, an issue like this jet deal on, you know, on the ground, but the, but, but the point is, does it not do, uh, still have to be raised? Should questions still not well, be sure, asked? It's, I mean, it's, as a responsible opposition, they also have a right to... It's important. Absolutely. Because Lily, it is important. Because the matter isn't closed yet, despite you know, what the Supreme is, Court has said. It is important. Matter is not closed. We don't have a CAG report. Uh, do I mind a JPC? Not at all. Please go ahead if you can have it. But, and I agree with Vinu on all the points about we need a Lokpal and the BJP has a lot to explain on its corruption issues from Vyapam to Bellari brothers and Sukram son and so on. However, you know, how long will the Congress do Rafal, Rafal, Rafal when it's not going anywhere with it? When you're not, I mean, what is the, you know, in politics, in electoral politics, you have to touch the sort of pulse of the people. Is what are the people, the, Mr. Mr. Modi, one second, what are the you. people most concerned Mr. about Modi, right now? The Mr. People Modi, Mr. Modi is on fire when it comes to Rafael. No, Sushmati, I don't like to interrupt, friend. so please go ahead. No, no, but, but, but Shiva, I'm just saying that yeah, Mr. Please, Modi please is rattled up on Rafael, that's why yourself. he's addressing it in every okay. rally. So, so Shiva, just let him finish his point. You, Shiva, your point basically no, no, is no, I'm saying that it's not smart politics, that's what you're saying. You know, also, what is the common man's biggest concern right now? If I can't get a job, what am I most concerned about? This Rafal deal and the technicalities of the offset and so on, or whether uh, my biggest concern is I can't get a job. If I can't get MSP, farmers are dying because they're getting one rupee kg onion, and the Congress party is going on and about. French president said this, he said that. You know, yeah, but we have, we have waived, we have waived they farmer loans. Have lost Rahul the, Gandhi uh, is sort of pulse of the people, even though the BJP is neglected, the rural economy has gifted in three states, they still do not understand that they have they will need to follow the pulse of the people painting modi as corrupt is not going to happen in a day it's it, you know it's it, it, it's they they need a lot more going for them in terms of evidence and proof and so on but 2g also people were not interested in the technicalities of 2g right due being a public issue because the government issue. was going down Look, for other CWG, reasons because of inflation all of these were of issues in the last election right so yeah. corruption obviously at some level, does yes, resonate because, with people. because the UPA two was going down for a variety of reasons, and the you know there were many scandals, many scandals, a lot of incompetence, CWG and rape and this and that, and that's how the corruption you know became became a big issue. Do today people care about Lokpal not being appointed? Yes, I, I care. 
but the masses care oh, i don't hear it the masses have an immediate concern which is nokri which is you know farm crisis and that is what i think the parliament should be debating more urgently than rafal well uh, sushmita you want to take that on <laughs> that do you need to focus more on the aam aadmi's problems than this uh, nidhi if anyone has been watching rahul gandhi ji in the in the campaign in the of the last three states uh, five states that went to election when you even hear him talking about hal i would like to say that he is very much connected to what is happening with the people today itself we had the punjab members of parliament outside in the gandhi statue selling potatoes to raise the raise the issue of the farmer distress in the next few days you will watch rahul gandhi ji is headed to rajasthan to do a massive rally where he is going to announce the loan waiver of farmers in every single speech of his every time he addresses the deprivation of hal he talks about the number of jobs that indian youths have lost i'm sorry but we are not going to depend on some journalist for our strategy we are addressing the issue of unemployment farmer distress agricultural distress and the hypocrisy okay. of prime minister modi on okay. corruption so you're saying all with equal fervor all right you're saying it's 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 a multi pronged approach whether or not rafal resonates with voters Please. is ultimately for the voters to decide we're not actually that far away uh you know from the election now so let's see how this plays out thank you very much to all of you for joining us tonight thank you